Low-cost airlines have revolutionized global travel, but burning massive quantities of fossil fuel has been at a cost to the environment. Now the industry is trying to tackle the negative impacts of aviation by encouraging cleaner, greener carriers that will make low-cost flying more environmentally friendly. The low-cost uh, carriers uh, can uh, continue to uh, fly with uh, modern aircraft because modern aircraft uh, use less fuel and if you use less fuel then of course you burn less carbon. Um, Low-cost carriers can also continue to have what we call high load factors which is to continue to transport a lot of people on the same plane because if a plane is empty, it burns as much fuel as when the plane is full. So the fuller the planes uh, and the more modern they are, the less they will uh, pollute the environment. Through such action, low-cost airlines can attempt to change a negative public perception. The, the carriers can make a commitment. Uh, well, first of all, they can make an acceptance that there is a problem. And secondly, they can make a commitment to do something about it. Um, many of them don't have carbon offset schemes, for instance, um, which are available to the passengers. That's one simple mechanism. Um, alternatively, they could fund some research, some scientific research. So there's a lot of green, simple green public relations exercises, uh, investment in, in, in research which would really make a difference. And those are just the small things. Bigger moves include incorporating aviation into the European Emissions Trading Scheme, a fairer financial mechanism which pushes the cost of pollution onto the polluter. The European uh, Emission Trading Scheme is a scheme whereby uh, all carriers are uh, given a number of allowance, a number of permits to uh, emit uh, carbon and if they want to have more activity and if they want to have uh, more uh, pollution, they will have to buy this right to uh, pollute. So we are putting, in fact, a cost to the pollution of aviation because of the polluter pay principle. As global warming continues to be the biggest global challenge of the 21st century, it is vital that the low-cost carrier industry moves towards a more harmonious environmental agenda.